Have you ever wondered why a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared in the Pythagoras theorem? In this video, you'll understand its proof. Hope you enjoy. Okay, guys. So let's start off by when we can use the Pythagoras theorem. Now, we can use the Pythagoras theorem only in right angle triangles. So, and we all know that the Pythagoras theorem states that if this side is A and this side is B and this side is C, we know that A square plus B square will always be equal to C square, in which C would always be the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Now, if anyone does not know, how do we find the hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse will always be the longer side of the right angle triangle. And an easy way of finding it, finding it is, it will always be opposite to the right angle. All right, guys. And in this video, I will be proving on why this works and giving you an insight on why a square plus b square is equal to c square. Okay. So let us say, in order to prove this, I am going to draw a line so let's say i have i'm going to draw a random line it doesn't look that straight but you know you know what i mean so this is a line and on this line i am going to put a point let's say a dot right here i put a dot right here now the line can be as long as you want and as short as you want would it make a difference and on the line the point that we put can be anywhere we want wouldn't make a difference so i chose to put the point right here now using this I am going to create a square. Okay, guys. So let me try to draw a square. So something like this, where the point is right here. Something like this, where the point would be approximately here. And something like this, where the point would approximately be here. Okay, guys. Now, now since we do not know how long the line is, but we can use variables to figure it out. So let us say, we don't know the length, but let's say instead of the length, we're going to put in variables. So let me say, I'm going to put this as A and this as B. So this is B and, and then from here to here would be our A. So if this is A, and this is b the side would be a plus b right guys so if this is a this is b the side would be a plus b in other words if if this is one centimeter and this is two centimeter the side would be one plus two which is three centimeter if that makes any sense and we also know that in a square all sides are equal so if this is a plus b this would also be a plus b this would also be a plus b and this would also be a plus b so what i'm going to do step number one so in order to find the area of this square what do we do so the area of any square of a square is equal to side multiplied by side or side square Right, guys, and in this case, our side is a plus b, so we would use a plus b whole square. And if you know the algebraic identity, a plus b whole square would equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square, following the algebraic identity. So, in order to find the area of this whole square we have a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now what I'm going to do is, with the dots that I drew just now, I am going to draw another square inside here, which will look something like this. And I'm going to call this c. All right, guys, I'm going to call this c. So if you can't see this very clearly, let me take you to the next page in which we can see it very clearly with the accurate drawing. So if you take a look at this page right here, so we figured out that 
the side the side of the square is a plus b so let's say this is a and this is b there we go and this is a plus b all right now from the last last slide we figured out that in order to find the area of the big square it is a plus b multiplied by a plus b but also if you take a look at it we have a small square here and we have four triangles in other words we can also write down as area of big square the big square which we found just now is equal to if i call this one let's say i call the small square as one so it would be area of one plus and we have four triangles here so plus area of four triangles four triangles okay guys so in other words area of the big square here would be equal to the area of the small square which is here plus the area of these four triangles okay guys all right now let let us see let us see how we can prove it now now in the we took this side as c so step number one let's figure out on how to find the area of one okay guys so area of the small square in other words so area of small square small square and we chose the side as c so in other words the area of the small square will be c multiplied by c or c squared right guys area of the small square will be c multiplied by c or c squared now also we have four triangles here now pretty much the same this is b and this is a this is b this is a this is b and this is a and the area of all the four triangles would be equal now in all, let's see how we can find the area of a triangle area of a triangle is equal to half times base times height and in this case the base let's say is b and the height is a so half times base multiplied by the height right guys and since we have four triangles we are also going to multiply this by four right guys and two and four can be simplified two will change to one four will change to two so the area of four triangles would give us two a b b times a times two we can write as two a b or two b a now from the first we see that area of the big square is equal to area of one which is small square plus area of four triangles so let's figure it out now so let me say let me put it as here so area of the big square area of the big square we, we figured out was a plus b whole square and this is equal to area of one which is c square plus area of four triangles which we figured out is 2ab now when we break this using the algebraic identity we would have a square plus 2ab plus b square which is a plus b the whole square and this is equal to c square plus 2ab all right guys now these two can simplify itself so 2ab and 2ab would simplify itself and hence or therefore we come out with what do we have left we have a square plus b square is equal to c square hence that is how pythagoras theorem works that is how we see that a square plus b square is equal to c square all right guys hope you guys understand if you enjoyed this please don't forget to like the video and if you want to come back and watch for some more video don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything okay guys until next time have a nice day